Hey there, Bruce the Budget Aquarist here. Hope everybody's doing great. For those of you stopping in just for the timer review, uh, normally I do talk about aquariums, so if you like fish, uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, otherwise, I'm doing this video to talk about the product called My Touch Smart Timer. It's very inexpensive, but uh, a quality timer, in my opinion, that works really well. The problem is the instructions are absolutely horrible uh, that come with it. Uh, in addition, I've looked at YouTube videos people have made, and I think those are really horrible. So I'm going to try to make a good quality video explaining the use of this uh, quite simple uh, timer for you. Okay guys, I'm putting this right at the beginning at the one minute mark because these are the things that are confusing. See that little arrow pointing to the right? That indicates that the right side timer is turned on. But if you notice that arrow is not present on the left side timer, that indicates that timer is not turned on at this time. So if you want to use two timers, then you have to push these buttons, my on time, until that little arrow appears. That indicates that timer is in use. Now this arrow pointing up points to the word clock because that is showing the current time. Over here on the right, you'll notice the word PM, and you do have an AM right below it that will show up as you scroll through and set the clock. The only time you will see an arrow here pointing up to the word set is if you are setting the time. Now, don't panic. If you are not sure where you are, simply quit pushing any buttons and wait, and it will return to the clock setting showing the current time. So once again, to try to make clear, the only time you will see an alarm time is if you push my on time or my off time. Otherwise, if you see the arrow pointing to the word clock, you are looking at the current time that the timer is set for. So now I'm going to Go to the video I made showing you a demonstration. And again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, and I'll get back with you real quick. This is the only plug. Now, I use an extension cord and have had plugged up to three aquarium uh, lights into that. And I don't know how many watts or what this thing's rated at, so I'm not saying overload it. I'm just telling you what I've done, and it worked fine. But... First thing you want to do when you get this is press this little tiny button right there that says R. You got to get a paper clip or something like this, stick it down in there and, and press that. That's a reset. And the reason I recommend you do that is because occasionally people buy these and they send them back and they're um, you know repackaged and occasionally you might get one that the alarm has already been set and then you'll be having trouble and you can't figure out why. But otherwise, uh, this is very simple. Like I said, unfortunately, the instructions they give you online are just uh, uh, that come with it or that you'll find on uh, YouTube and stuff uh, stink. So you have two things. You have on time at the top, off time at the bottom. On time at the top, off time at the bottom. This sets one alarm. This sets another alarm. If you do not want to use this alarm after you have reset it, the on time will show 6 p.m. The off time will show 6 a.m. Just don't touch them after you reset it, okay? And they will not function. So let's say you're just using it for one on and off time, okay? You can take and use this left side, and here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to my on time, and you're going to push this button, Make sure I push it good. You'll see it starts flashing. Okay, so now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to scroll to the time I want this to go on. To the right of the numbers that are blinking by, you'll see it says PM. I'm going to take it around to AM. I want to set this timer to go off at 7.30 AM. Okay, 
Nice and simple. If you go past it, you just push backwards. Okay. Now you'll notice it's blinking. You can let it blink a few times and it will stop blinking and go back to the current time. All right. And so you're good to go. Once again, I want to check my thing and make sure my time's right. So I'll press this top button again. There you go. It is set to go on at 730. Okay. Now I can go immediately to this off time and push that and you see it says 12 a.m. So I'm going to take this all the way around to 7.30 p.m., which is the time I want it to go off. You can see it says a.m. to the right of the numbers. Now it's at p.m. Again, I'm going to take it to 7.30. 7.30, hit it. Okay, and there you go. It blinks a few times, and then it returns to the clock. Okay, guys, this is important, and I've gone back to the photo just uh, more to keep your attention. The problem is if you have, let's say, a light plugged into this, and you are within the time frame that you set to have it go on and off, but it does not go on, what's the reason? It's real simple. You then need to push this up arrow button, scroll around the clock 24 hours, and go back and set the current time again. That fools the clock into going past your off and then your on time and clicking the mechanism that will uh, allow power to your item. <laughs>